September 1st. 5508 B. C. The world was created, according to the Septuagint, followed by Julius Africanus, a chronologer of the 3rd century, upon the 1st of September, 5. 1,508 years, 3 months and 25 days before the birth of Christ, of the 7,349 years which are thus supposed to elapse since the creation, we shall find 3,000 of ignorance and darkness, 2,000 either fabulous or doubtful, 1,000 of ancient history, commencing with the Persian Empire and the republics of Rome and Athens, 1,000 from the fall of the Roman Empire in the West to the discovery in America, and the remaining 349 will compose the modern state of Europe and mankind. 44 B. C. Divine Honors Decreed to the Memory of Tsar. 1159. Adrian IV Nicholas Brexpeer, Pope, died. He was the only Englishman ever elected to the office. 1611. The crew of Henry Hudson, who had mutinied and put him adrift in an open boat, were picked up by a fisherman, in a wretched condition. Left, while on their voyage, was seaweed fried with candles ends, and the skins of fowls. They were in such a state of starvation that only one of them had strength to lie on the helm and steer the ship. It appears that they had quarreled among themselves, and met with a fearful retribution. 1620. The English pilgrim sailed from Plymouth in the Mayflower, for the American continent, intending to find some place near Hudson's River for a settlement. 1633. Antonio Quiringhi, an Italian poet, died. 1641. The Raritans made an attack upon the colony of Staten Island, and murdered the colonists, in revenge for previous depredations by the Dutch. 1651. Dundee, in Scotland, taken by storm by General Monk, Mount commanded all, of Kyohitsum ever sex to be put to the edge of the sword. There were 800 inhabitants. And soldiers killed and about 200 women and children. The plunder and batai they got in the town, exceeded two millions and a half. 1675. The Indians under the notorious King Philip fell upon the town of Deerfield, in Massachusetts, killed one man, and laid most of the town in ashes. 1682. William Penn sailed for America in the ship Welcome, 300 tons burthen, with about a hundred other emigrants, mostly Quakers. 1685. Leoline Jenkins, an able English civilian and statesman, died. 1687. Henry Moore, an English philosopher and poet, died. His works once enjoyed a high reputation. 1697. The imperialists, Commanded by Prince Eugene, defeated the Turks at Zentha. The Grand Vizier and upwards of 20,000 men killed. 1715. Louis XIV, of France, died. His reign is marked as an era of magnificence, learning and licentiousness, in France. And he left behind him monuments. Of unprecedented splendor and expense in palaces, gardens, etc. 1715. Francis Girondin, an eminent French sculptor and architect, died. 1720. Eusbus Renaud Odot, a distinguished French Orientalist, died. 1721. John Kiel, an eminent Scottish mathematician and philosopher, died. His works are numerous and in high repute. 1729. Richard Steele, an English writer and politician, died. Justly celebrated as an essayist, just remembered as a dramatist, and almost forgotten as a politician. 1730. 
a new volcano opened at Tamanfeya, in the Isle of Lanzarote. 1731. French erected a fort at Crown Point, on Lake Champlain. 1755. Maurice Green, an eminent English music composer, died. He undertook an important reformation in church music which he did not live to effect. 1766. Peter Enick, a Tyrolese peasant, astronomer and geographer, died. He followed the occupation of a farmer till the age of 28, after which he commenced his scientific career. 1771. Cuthbert Shaw died. An English poet of humble origin, but of superior attainments, and inferior to no writer of ancient or modern times. 1774. General Gage seized the powder at Charlestown, in consequence of which the people rose and compelled several officers of the king's government to resign. 1776. Louis Henry Christopher Holty, an excellent German poet, died. In tender elegiac or idyllic poetry, he is peculiarly successful. 1779. French fleet, Count D'Esting, captured off Charleston, South Carolina, British ship experiment, 50 guns, and three frigates. 1784. John Francis Xavier, a distinguished French botanist and president of the Academy of Nismes, died. 1787. John Bake, an eminent Dutch philosopher and Latin writer, was born at Leiden. His last work was an edition of Cicero de Legibus. 1793. A fine marble bust of John Milton, the poet, was placed in the church at Cripplegate. 1801. Robert Page, an English novelist of considerable merit, died. 1804. The planet Juno discovered by Harding, of Germany. Her diameter is 1,425 miles, and she performs a very eccentric orbit round the Sun in four years and 128 days. 1804. James Nicholson, an officer in the American Navy during the War of the Revolution, died. 1806. Patrick O'Brien, the Irish giant, died at Bristol, England. His height was 8 feet, 5 inches. 1814. Champlain Village taken possession of by the British under Provost. 1814. Fort Caston, on the Penobscot, and several places taken by the British under Sherwood and Admiral Griffith. 1814. United States sloop of war Wasp, Captain Blakely, fell in with ten sail of British vessels convoyed by a 74, and bomb ship. He caught out of the convoy a brig, laden with military stores, and burned her, and sunk the brig Avon, of 19 guns. 1818. The state prison at Auburn, New York, opened. 1831. George Fulton, author of an improved system of education and a popular pronouncing dictionary, died near New Haven, Scotland. 1838. William Clark died. The companion of Lewis in the pioneer journey across the Rocky Mountains. He was held in the highest estimation by nearly all the tribes of western Indians, however remote whose character he well understood. He was several years governor of Missouri, and at the time of his death the oldest American settler residing in St. Louis. 1841. Joseph Nurse died. A soldier of the Revolution, one of the vice presidents of the American Bible Society, and 40 years register of the United States Treasury. 1849. The deaths registered in London for the week were 2,796, exceeding those of any previous week. 
and nearly three times the average of the season. Of the number, 1,663 were by cholera, and 234 by diarrhea. 1851. Antonio Lopez, who attempted to effect a revolution in Cuba, was garroted at Havana. 1851. The railroad in Russia from St. Petersburg to Moscow was inaugurated. 1853. Louis Chidi, an Italian exile, died in New York. He was Secretary of Finance to Murat, afterwards Professor of Political Economy at Brussels, then Commissioner to the United States from Belgium. During the Troubles of 1821 at Naples, he was expelled and resided in this country. 1855. William Crench, an eminent American judge, died at Washington, D.C., aged 86. He published nine volumes of cases in the Supreme Court and was highly respected for his talents and learning.